What's up guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another video. So Bevel, and earlier this week, uh, they, they launched three new products. Um, so that'll be the Curl Cream for Bevel Hair. Uh, it's gonna be the, the two-in-one pomade, and then the two-in-one exfoliating pads. They've also made some slight adjustments to the rest of the lineup that will kind of roll out over the next few months. Um, so you kind of see a couple of different package designs, it's kind of revamping some of the use of their products across the line, um, as well as some changes that you'll notice on these newer bottles um, where they call out specific details on the package. So the, it'll be the product name, it'll be some key ingredient um, right below that, and then whatever it's designed for. So for this one is textured, textured hair. This one would be for waves and, um, and beards, and that's the two-in-one. So they're taking a, an extra step in an approach to be able to make sure that communication across their products is really clear, you know, exactly how to use them, you know, what to use them for. Um, and I think that's a really, really good move. As you're looking at these things on shelf, online, it's helpful to know, you know, just what, you know, each product is designed for, how you're supposed to use it, all of those different things. I think it's super dope that uh, Bevel is making these changes as well as rolling out these three new products. So what I'll do is kind of take you guys through the three new products in detail. Um, my first first impressions on each. I've only been using them for about a week, um, but just to kind of give you guys an idea, you know, the exfoliating pads, is it worth or is it better than the actual liquid toner? And the two-in-one pomade, how does that compare to the beard balm and the utility of that? So I'll kind of walk through a little bit of those things, give you my first impressions and thoughts. All right, so first up is gonna be the exfoliating pads. Um, so the exfoliating pads, are gonna be very similar to the, the liquid toner um, that you guys are probably familiar with. So same scent profile, um, same makeup. The only difference is that they're on pre-saturated pads. So in the container, you'll see that there's kind of, you know, a set of 45 pads that are in there. The scent profile is exactly the same as a liquid toner, but what you're getting is a more convenient way to use the toner. So in a lot of cases, when you use a toner, it can be a little messy and then you're having to you know, use other cotton pads or cotton balls. Other cotton pads tend to break up, um, especially with guys with facial hair. If you've just recently shaven, you're gonna get those little pieces and fuzz on your face from using the, the cotton ball or the cotton pad. These don't do that. These actually hold up pretty well um, with a couple of swipes. So I think that it's, you know, it's, it's a nice, easy to use, it's already pre-saturated. You're not gonna oversaturate it. Um, you know, that's another thing that, that comes up when you're using a liquid toner is, you know, one of the biggest questions is like, how much do you use? Some people use too much, some people use too little. It's always hard to find that right balance, you know, for your skin type, for what you're able to handle. What the benefit of this is gonna do, is gonna help tone your skin. Um, so, you know, especially people who have hyperpigmentation or dark spots, this is going to help exfoliate that and fade that away, as well as for people who are struggling with, you know, ingrown hairs. Um, so if you shave, you use clippers, you start to get the ingrown hairs around, you know, your mouth area or even on the back of your neck, things like that. The witch hazel will kind of reduce some of the irritation that you'll probably have from the ingrown hairs, um, while the aloe vera and the niacinamide that's in these um, are going to help kind of condition the skin over time and then um, start to fade some of the dark spots or the dark areas that you have your face so like I said very very similar to the liquid toner um, you know there's a couple slight ingredient changes as expected with a different product um, but it's very very similar for those who use the liquid toner personally my personal preference after using these new pads is the pads um, just by a long shot the liquid toner is something that's in my weekly regimen but I think it's super super nice to have these pads here where it does two things. One, it travels really well, um, so it's not something that, oh, I have to worry about the liquid size of this or this spilling and opening up. But I think it was super, super smart of them to put this in this container. I think it's just, it's so much easier to use. I, I prefer using this over the liquid. For something that I use twice a week, 45 pads is gonna last a long time. Um, and I think that it's, it's super nice to have this in a nice convenient container um, that's easy to use. The pads are really nice, they're durable. They're super thin. And then I also think it's super cool about the texture. Um, so it's a two-sided texture. One is kind of has like a bumpy dotted um, side to it, while the other has like more of a smooth surface. So I don't know if the, what the difference is, if there's a certain side 
that you benefit from using, you know, depending on use case. I've always used the, the more dotted, um, bumpy edge side. I mean, it's been great. I think it's one of the products that, um, out of this new set, really, really good, smart move on Belt's part by moving this over to um, pre-saturated pads for those who just, you know, love the convenience of that. You can literally just take one out, apply it, throw it away, and you're not having to do all these extra steps by searching for cotton balls, trying to pour this on there, um, getting it all over the place, getting it over the cap, all of those different things. It takes all of those steps out where it's just one convenient step in here. Um, you know, and it has all the same benefits that the liquid toner had. So I think it's super, super smart. And then we have the curl cream. So the curl cream is something that is completely new to the, to the Bevel lineup. This to me is probably one of the most needed products in their lineup, um, especially for men with a little bit longer hair. I've started growing my hair out as well um, and rocking curls. And so I think that this, you know, is super, super helpful to have. Um, you know, when you, you pair this with the shampoo and the conditioner, you know, the shampoo and conditioner already do a really good job of softening your hair, detangling it. But when you use this curl cream, the texture, so as you look at the texture of the curl cream, initially, I was gonna leave my hair really crunchy. It has more of a gel texture to it. You know, the scent of it is exactly like the Bevel Lotion. So if you like the smell of the Bevel Lotion, if you use that in your daily, you're gonna like the smell of this. It complements it well, it goes right in line with it, so it's not one of those products that's gonna conflict with anything else that you're wearing. You know, and then the texture, going back to that, you know, it, it's one of these products that it has like a gel base texture to it. So normally when I see that in most products, typically when it dries, it starts to get a little crunchy. This actually does a really good job moisturizing your hair almost as a leave-in, but then does a really good job of activating your curls. So as, one, as, as a product that activates curls, top notch. They just did a really good job with this in order to be able to get it to make sure that, you know, each time you're curling your hair, you're adding it in, um, it's, it's activating each of those curls, it's helping lock everything in, um, and it reduces the flyaway. So you're not dealing with a whole bunch of extra frizz, um, you know, where some leave-in conditioners or styling creams can, can do that, where they're not locking in um, each hair follicle into the curl. And so I think that that's super, super good. Such a good job, um, you know, curling my hair. Looks moisturized, but it's not overly greasy. So when you put your hands in your hair, I mean, you're not dealing with, you know, a ton of like grease and, and oil and all of those different things, which I think is also super important. Um, so as, as, a, as a styling cream, as a curl cream, this is one of these things that I definitely would recommend having in your lineup, especially for guys that have longer hair types. This has been one of my favorite products to use, um, and it comes in a, in a nice size bottle. Now looking at it, um, the pictures on the internet and on social media, I initially thought that the bottle was gonna be bigger. But in general, the size is really good. It it's, fits in line with where the shampoo and conditioner is. I think that it's an appropriate size. Don't need a whole lot. You use maybe about a quarter nickel sized amount. Academia Sea Oil in here is gonna help like nourish and protect your hair and bring back all the moisture um, there. There's gonna be aloe vera as well as coconut oil. So all of those things kind of working together in that gel format to be able to kind of help your hair curl, but then keep all the moisture locked in, keep it healthy and protected. Definitely recommend you guys checking this out. And the last product in this new Bevel launch is going to be the two-in-one pomade. This is a really good improvement over what was previously in the lineup. Previously, we had the Beard Balm, um, which was really, really good. One of my favorite products to use um, just for my facial hair, as well as when I had waves, and then even just moisturizing the, the sides and back um, of my longer hair. But you guys can kind of see, um, product packaging has changed. Um, it's gotten a little bit smaller as far as diameter, but a little bit taller in general. The cap is easier to screw on and off than on the Beard Balm which I think is nice. Typically with the Beard Balm, it, both the Beard Balm and the pomade have this like soft um, texture. So if you're familiar with the Beard Balm, the pomade is gonna feel relatively the same. So I, I, you know, I think that there wasn't much of a change there. I know there were a few ingredient changes, some really subtle stuff, but in general, this should be really, really familiar to those who already use the Beard Balm. It's meant to be for both waves and beards. Now the Beard Balm was that as well, but it, they've done a nice job of communicating that on the package. So as a two-in-one pomade, beer balm, um, this is a really, really good product. Uh, like I said, it's very similar to the beer balm, does all the same stuff, but the scent difference is, is another key thing to note. 
So with the beer balm, it had more of a peppery, spicy scent to it or a little bit of a peppery undertone. Um, it was really subtle, but I think that it broke a little bit from the rest of the Bevel lineup. The rest of the products in the lineup had a different kind of scent profile and the beer balm just seemed to me to stand out just a tad bit. Uh, this new pomade falls back in line with the rest of the lineup uh, and the scent profiles you guys are probably familiar with. So the scent profile fits in line with like especially the beard and hair products. So you know the conditioner, the shampoo smells familiar and similar to those. So again, it's one of those products that isn't going to conflict too much with anything else that you're using or wearing. I think that having this go back to more of a neutral scent um, and, and just, you know, actually communicating the uses on the package, I think is super helpful for those guys that are trying this out for the first time and just want to figure out, okay, what's the best balm I can use? Is it good for my beard? Because it's good for my beard, is it good for my hair on my head? Yes, and then I can use those for both. This is something too that would travel well. It's pretty small. It's nice and compact, so it will fit nicely in a dop kit whenever you go to travel. This is a product to me that you would always have with you or have in your, your backpack or your bag or your gym bag or whatever it is. I think that this is one of those products that you're always just gonna have on hand. So that's it. That's everything in the new lineup. Like I said, these three products, the curl cream, the exfoliating pads, and the pomade, um, are all the latest additions to Bevel's lineup as of earlier this week. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I listed out, let me know in the comment section below. There's also going to be a link in there if you guys want to purchase any of these three um, or any other Bevel products in the lineup. Uh, use the link that's in my description section. You'll be able to get $10 off of anything that's $75 or more. So if you put in an order, um, you'll get $10 off of that order. If you guys like the videos, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next one, thank you guys for watching. Peace.